What up, y'all, Chargers? Here they're coming to you Sunday, November 17th. Chargers just beat the Bengals 34 to 27 in an instant classic. Crazy freaking game. We came out the gates. We were like 27 to fucking 6. And we looked like we were about to just smoke these Bengals. And they came back, tied it up at 27 to 27. They looked like we looked like we were about to charge her again, like the old Tom Telesco. Weak ass, no confidence, Chargers, but guess what? We grabbed our nuts and we freaking put our nuts on that table and we said, all right, we got gifted those, we got gifted two missed field goals. We, we're not going to deny that. We got lucky, but we won this game at the end of the day. When 10 years in the future, no one's going to remember this or this or that or that, you know, the shoulda, coulda, woulda bullshit. We won this game 34 to 27 against the against Joe Burrow. This was a playoff game. This was an instant classic. This was the craziest game of the season for the Chargers. I was sweating my nuts off. I was I was really freaking worried. But you know, obviously we were six and three. It's like we could win this game and we could still be okay. Our season is still gonna be alright, hopefully. But we freaking we put our nuts on the table if you know what I mean and we're going seven and three. We're powerhousing this league. We're going straight to the playoffs. We're getting a first. We're getting. We're going first class. We're going. Um, what is it called? First class round trip to freaking the playoffs right now, and we're cruising, bro. We're in cruising altitude right now. We're going smoothly, and um, dude, I'm just so hyped. This game was crazy. Um, you know, we we were we were up big then we tied we look like we're about to lose we're gonna choke it out and then we came back justin herbert with the final drive and uh holy crap my ner i'm it, the game just ended like five minutes ago i'm still hyped my adrenaline is still pumping i'm here drinking a pabs blue ribbon first of all because it's the only thing i had in my fridge but also because we we Definitely got to earn, we're, we earned some ribbons on this, whatever that means, you know, we definitely earned some ribbons, cheers. There's so much to talk about right now, Chargers fans are probably, you know, you know what the mainstream narratives are, it's like, oh, Greg Roman is terrible, blah, 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 like, yeah, our second half offense wasn't the best, um, but we won the damn game, it's like, Wait until the game ends to start talking. Like, you're no freaking Nostradamus. You're not Vince Lombardi. You're a little fucking dude that sits on his couch like the rest of us. And, like, just let it happen. I've never gone against Greg Roman or anyone in this, in this, um, in this team, pretty much in this organization right now. Now that Tom Telesco is gone, this team is doing scrumptious we're playing delightfully we're playing great we're doing we're playing like a super bowl contender we really freaking are joe joe burrow and the, the bengals are four and seven yeah but they can beat anybody uh next we got the ravens up next we had a tough this was the first game of our tough stretch we got the bengals the ravens the chiefs or some shit the freaking buccaneers we got the falcons it's a tough stretch we got up and we just won the first game. We're freaking proving ourselves. So charges, there is no, like if I was to try and be negative, let me just try and think, How can I be negative about this team? I guess second half offense should score more points. But how, what do I sound like, a Teletubby? I, bro, Big Bird, a freaking Elmo could have said that too. Like, oh, score more points second half. Nah, <laughs> Like there's no um, there's no substance behind that comment. So this Chargers team, I believe in them. We believe in Jim Harbaugh. We believe in Greg Minter. No, no, Jesse Minter, my bad. And we believe in Greg Roman. Uh, this Chargers team is just a breath of fresh air. Just tough team, beautiful, delightful, scrumptious, scrumptious team. Literally, go into these stats right now. Let me just. Let me, I, just, I have to post a video every week, so let me just let me just post up this video. Char Justin Herbert, 17 for 36. That's like 50% average. He went up against a good defense, a good team. 297, two touchdowns. Guess how many interceptions? How many interceptions? Oh, zero. 
He did fumble, though. But zero interceptions, two sacks, played very well. Without Justin Herbert, no chance. No, Bro, we're pretty much the Raiders. All right, I wouldn't say that. We're not the Raiders, but we're... I don't know, but we're, we're not doing as good as we, as we are right now. Uh, rushing, Herbert, 5 carries, 65 yards, 13, carry, uh, 13 average. J.K. Dobbins, 11 carries, 56 yards, 2 touchdowns. And the game sealer, the finisher, the icer, whatever you want to call it, the last touchdown of the game to put us up, 34-17, or 27. J.K. Dobbins, we love you, bro. We love you, J.K. Dobbins, the beast. Cheers to J.K. Dobbins right here, and and Herbert, and the whole team. But J.K. Dobbins, thank you for sealing that that uh, last touchdown, not letting us come down to a field goal. Gus Edwards, six carries, 20, 27 yards, forty point five average. Uh, receiving, this was a battle. Lad McConkey, six catches, one hundred twenty three yards, zero touchdowns. Disley, four catches, eighty yards, touchdown. Johnston. Two catches, 48, and a touchdown. Palmer, two for 23. Um, but you know who I really want to shout out? Oh, real quick, though. Look at on the tackles list. Who's at the top every single week? Diane Henley, 11 tackles. 11 tackles. Diane Henley, this dude is tackling everybody, bro. This dude, I'm surprised this fool hasn't been arrested because he's probably tackling people out in the streets. He's, he's just tackler. He's a tackler. Tackles everybody, bro. He probably, like, every single dispute he has in his in his personal life, he's probably tackling them and hurting them, pretty much. Diane Henley, 11 tackles, but who I got to give my hats off to. Hats off is going to Derwin James, the captain of our defense, the, you know, old-time charger, long-time charger, with the pass deflection on the Hail Mary. It looked like... T. Higgins was actually going to catch that ball. Um, that Hail Mary, bro, I was sweating my balls off up until that last play. And it looked like T. Higgins was going to come down with that ball. But we got Derwin James back there. Derwin James got his base ass hands on that ball, knocked that shit free, and we won that game. Got to give my hats off to Derwin James right there. And also, hats off to Cam Hart, rookie. Playing well, Tarib still playing well. The two uh, late round cornerbacks, and then of course Denzel Perryman, the hitter, the hammer that we used to have that came back, came back to us. We appreciate that. This is no fucking pillow fight. This is no fucking little girl sleepover. Gonna gonna fucking uh, gossip about what guys you're talking to. Now nah, this is football, bro. This is we're about to hit people. We're about to hurt them. We're about to give them permanent injuries. They're going to feel this 30 years later when they're fucking 60 years old. They're going to feel that hit that Denzel Perryman gave them back in 2024. They're going to feel that back on their deathbed. They're going to be in the hospice care. They're going to feel that pain in their fucking 23rd vertebrae in their back. They're going to be like, oh, that was Denzel Perryman. Hurt the shit out of me. Yeah, it's a brutal game. It's not pretty. It's what it is, though. This is what it is. It's, it's football. You listen to the mainstreamers. If you listen to the mainstream, is you're a fucking idiot, pretty much. Like you're, I mean, I get it. You want to get baseless commentary and just, you, you know, you want to pretend like this is some kind of pillow fight and Madden generation. This is not no Madden fucking generation. This is real human shit. This is feelings, emotions, psychology, brutality, savageness. This is pretty much planet Earth right now. You ever seen planet Earth? The in Africa, the lions eating the freaking gazelles. That's what football is. And if you act like it isn't, then you're just misinformed, bro. And this is just a savage game. It's crazy. Um, and and that's why players pray to the dear Lord before every game to ask the dear Jesus, God, Lord, whatever fucking God you're praying to, to let us come out of this game without... Serious injuries, lifelong injuries, PTSD, freaking brain damage, all that shit. This is not no pillow fight joke like these mainstreamers are doing on the weekends. These guys, these guys are selling you short. They're selling you, they're selling you, you know, baseless dopamine. And 
and that's what it is. Maybe that's what you want. Baseless dopamine, and that's all good. Get some baseless dopamine. But here, we're here to be truthful. We're here to be real. We're here to fucking inflict permanent damage on our opponents. And that's just what football is. What do you think war is? War, they're murdering people for for life. They're dead, bro. This is football. This is somewhat similar. These guys will receive permanent lifelong injuries. And this is not a pillow fight. This is not a pillow fight. It's either we damage them or they damage us. And that's just how the sport goes, guys. This Chargers team is doing very well, very aggressive, dominant, winning the games that we got to win. And I could not be happier. Cheers to the Chargers. Seven and fucking three. Seven and three, bro. We're only two games back from the Chiefs. Like, far exceeding my expectations. I think everybody's expectations. You could listen to these mainstreamers like Mina Kimes saying, I don't know how the Chargers win eight games. I don't know how they win nine games. Shut the fuck up, bro. You have you have never put a helmet on. You've never played the game. You, like, just take your paycheck, appreciate the money that you're getting, your salary, and shut the fuck up. Like, they they give us nothing. Mainstreamers offer us absolutely nothing. Nothing. Like literally, you could ask ChatGPT for a podcast and it would give us better information than these mainstreamers. They know nothing, bro. Um, and that's all I got to say about that. Charger's doing great. I'm so happy. Uh, last year, I was incredibly critical. This year, I'm incredibly supportive. Everything is going well. I trust Harbaugh, I trust Minter, I trust Roman, I trust all these guys, I trust Ortiz, I trust this team, Chargers, thank you for giving us Chargers fans hope, cheers. It is what it is, I'm going to stop yapping now, I'll see y'all next week, 7-3 and three, bro, 7-3, and three. how beautiful is that, bolt up, thank you.